in this video we're going to look at the general term of the arithmetic progression the general term how it is given so what do you have if we're given it as tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 d so what are these variables tn is the general term the general term is the tn then uh, what about a a is the first term of the sequence term number one t means term number one n how do i explain n n is the position of the terms in the sequences like position of t1 t2 t3 those are the nth term if we say we're looking for the t8 like the word n is standing for this one in case we have t2 t11 t12 where there's this 11 where there's this 2 this is where there's n the term number which is term number the position actually well, what is that on position number 10 or position number 4 position number 5 the t2 to t3 that's what it says when it says t like the nth term right okay we'll understand that in later and then d d is the difference the common difference the same way we define one. remember the time when we were testing whether the sequence is arithmetic or geometric so d it is the common difference so since we know that this is an arithmetic progression we don't have to prove it that d t e two minus t one equals to t three minus t two no in this case we don't have to we can still do if we have time but we don't really have to because we know if this is a real arithmetic progression which means the common difference which we get from t two minus t one is the common difference throughout the sequence right so let us try an example and see how we understand. So let's say we have a sequence which goes like 7, 10, 13, 16, 19. And this is an arithmetic progression. We're given that this is an arithmetic progression. Uh, remember, first term is the T1, T2, T3, T4. Then we have to calculate Tn. First, let us write the formula. Tn equals to a plus n minus 1 d. A, it is the first term of the sequence. What is that first term of the sequence? T1, which is 7. D, it is the common difference. And remember, since we are told, since we are given that this sequence is an arithmetic progression, we don't have to prove it. We don't have to prove the common difference because it is given that this is an arithmetic progression. So we confidence that this it is. So how do we get the difference? T2 minus T1. What is T2? T what is T1? 7. 10 minus 7, that is 3. Then we plug it back to the formula. General term given by first term, T1. 7 plus the nth minus 1. Then the common difference, D, which is 3. Then the board muscle, we have to simplify Tn. Equals to 7 plus 3 times n, 3n negative 1 times 3, negative 3 tn equals to 7 minus 3, that is positive 4 then this is 3n positive 4 then uh, before you leave your examination you need to test this thing whether this formula it works on the sequences let us try let's say we're looking for the term number 3 the term number 3 on the sequence is 13 let's see if we're going to get 13 the term number three, three, remember I said N is the position of the term. Position of the term number three, nine, plus four from the formula. Then three times three, that is nine, nine plus four, nine plus four, it is indeed 18. So which means this? It is right you can make yourself correct after you have proved it then okay let's try another example let's say we have a sequence sorry three six nine two fifteen right 
and it is also arithmetic progression so what you let's write the formula t we have to calculate the area but calculate tn formula of the tn equals a plus and minus one the difference what is a three plus and minus one oh sorry 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 so let me slow down let me slow down sorry let us write the given information first step by step a which is the first term of the sequence this is t1 t2 t3 until until first term of the sequence it is 3 and then the difference remember this is arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence so we don't have to prove this thing we just have to t2 minus t1 it will work what is t2 6 t1 3 okay 6 minus 3 that is 3 then we plug it back to the food. This is the difference, remember. First term A, 3 plus and minus 1. D, 3. three we simplify 3 and times 3, 3 and negative 1 times positive 3 gives us negative 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Then this is 3 and Tn equals to 3n. Then now. Uh, before you, you you leave, you need to test it first to, before you can confirm whether you got it right. So let us try. This is term number three, term number four, term number five. Yeah. Okay, let's see what is term number five. Three into five. Three times five, that is 15. Let's see. See, indeed, this is right. Okay, one more example, one more example. Let's say we have a sequence which goes like 2, 5, 8, 11, yeah, so forth. But say calculate Tn. This is arithmetic progression. We have to calculate Tn. How do we get it? We write the formula first. The Tn is equals to a plus in bracket n minus one. The common difference d. A is the first term. What is the first term? Two. D is the difference. And the, since we are given that this is arithmetic progression, we just have to say t two minus t one. The term number two in this case is five minus the first term two. Five minus two that is three right then we plug it back to the formula first term a which is true plus n minus one the nth term then the difference that is three then we simplify two plus n times three three n uh, three times negative or negative three two minus three that is negative one so three n negative one that is the tn okay before you uh, you celebrate you need to test it first let's look for just okay term number four again term four three remember you don't have to prove it in your examination room or in your last week you don't have to prove it on your last week book you rather use your scrapbook not your last week book because this is not much necessary you would get me a mark for proving this it's just for your own practice just to make sure you're confident enough that you can you get this 3 n oh remember term number four so that is four then the formula may subtract one the let's go and calculate this is 12 then it is 12 minus one that is one one let's see yes 11 so which means we write so good luck on your good luck on your sequences on the next video we are doing a geometric progression the nth term of the geometric progression so if there's any question you came across on it last week book or any question paper write it down on the comment section we'll respond to you thank you